Islam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, uh, I have a question here on that too that, that is in around that point. Um, I do a lot of writing and a lot of studying, and, and I am Muslim myself, uh, and I study the Quran. And um, I know through the Quran that actually it tells us that women are a gift to mankind, that they are more apt to make uh, legitimate decisions based on knowledge and integrity rather than emotion, rather than a guy. Uh, and a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and actually, uh, um, knowing a lot of the women that I do in Islam, I tend to agree with that completely. Uh, but another thing that I know of uh, through journalism and writing pieces and articles and other journalists is we have people like uh, Jan Morgan uh, in the U.S. that's very well known with the AP and throughout a lot of circles for Islamophobia. Uh, we have a lot of sites in the U.S. and a lot on TV is more, more or less... Uh, more than not what you see on our mainstream media uh, is the spreading of what I consider Islamophobia. So there's a lot in our media that points bad things towards Islam. You don't hear, uh, if you hear about a Muslim terrorists, they don't say Muslim, they say Islamic terrorists. And myself, I think that's a big misnomer because they're placing a big title on a religion. We don't say uh, Christian extremist. Uh, if it comes to something like that, we say they're American extremists. But if they're from the Muslim world, they must be Islamist extremists. Uh, so one of the questions I would have to ask you, because uh, I know you're around quite a bit of the mainstream too, uh, is what, can, what do you think we can do to change this, uh, to get mainstream to go away from that so negative outlook that they're putting across America about the Middle East? I understand. Well said. And I understand where your heart is and your hard work is to help Americans and the Western world understand that a terrorist who is Muslim uh, doesn't represent all of Islam or the majority or the hopes of the friends of the West, the United States, mm -hmm. pluralism, tolerance, peace. Mm -hmm. uh, two things I would say. We need to tell the truth about radical Islam together as friends who oppose it. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth about it and then support you, shine a light on you, you being any who say, I am Muslim and I don't support this radicalism, I don't support this hatred, and I don't support using the name of Islam, mm -hmm. Allahu Akbar, and then the suicide bomber, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. praying, invoking the Quran, and then attacking the West, Israel, America. So there's a battle within Islam. I'm encouraged that you're fighting that battle with words, with education, with teaching fellow uh, Westerners like me, an American, and all the people I will share this program with, that this radicalism does not represent the majority view, the modern view of Muslims. I'm thrilled to hear that. Most Americans are thrilled to hear that. I want to encourage you to keep participating in the American media I'm a Muslim, and I don't support jihad, I don't support suicide bombing, I don't support the um, ending of the state of Israel, I don't support uh, calling America the devil, etc., etc. This is not a kind of interpretation, this is the essence of Quran. If someone reads the Quran, it's openly stated that if you kill someone, it's as if you kill all the humanity, and if you save someone, it's as if you save all the humanity and war is only for defensive purposes in Islam and also women are very much respected uh, maybe more respected than the Western world because uh, there is the example of uh, Queen of Saba you know she is the president of a whole uh, big country and she is very much respected so it shows that in the Quran uh, women can be uh, the president uh, of a country can be uh, very well listened uh, and uh, their ideas uh, can be respected and also Muslim women and Muslim men are addressed in the same way so there is no uh, discrimination of gender in the Quran if we apply uh, these truths uh, in the Quran uh, then we can all live in peace there will be well, no problem thank you you know a couple times you said things which are very close to the same words in Judaism. Mm -hmm. the, yes. specialness, yes. the specialness and the respect of women. Mm -hmm. If you kill a life, it's as if you kill the whole world. In the Torah, it's the same. Mm -hmm.